Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winter and welcome to episode 5 of the Dead Space series. And hopefully this is going to go a lot smoother than episode 4 did. For some reason I never have problems playing a game to the extent that I did in the last episode until I'm actually recording. <laughs> I swear man, that's just, it's so funny how that works out. It was that way in Wonder, Bo in Wonder Boy... Uh, Red Dead, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and now Dead Space. So I'm beginning to think I jinx myself by actually hitting record. Anyways, let's move on. Oh, shit. Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off the ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. And we're back in the med medical section now. And as you can see, things have changed since we were here not just, what, two episodes ago? No, we were here on the second episode. So this will... Yeah, two episodes ago we were in here and things have changed already. So here's an example of the backtracking and the variance involved in it, which keeps it fresh. And is not just a simple rehash of older levels with a new skin. The way of God's man. The natural order. Are you are you blind left to rest? Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently, too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. So that's the way that we need to go. Oh, and that is the only way we can go. Well, we've got the contact energy. Let's go ahead and sell that right quick and clear up inventory. Even though we're doing fairly well, I just don't want to take the chance of needing a store and not being near one. And hopefully I'm not shooting myself in the foot by selling this, because we don't really have a whole lot of ammo for the line gun at this moment. So if we run out for the plasma cutter, we can pretty much, I think, assume ourselves to be fucked. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully we don't need that ammo that I'm selling off. Oh my goodness, and there's a store right there, and I knew that. Why the hell did I even backtrack all the way back there? God, get with it, Winter. Come on, man. You're better than that. I don't know. I got no excuse. I, I've got nothing on that. I was hoping to kill that one in one shot like I did in the previous episode, but all right, I'll take it. There's the other one. Yeah, not bad. Got him in three. Got him in three. I can use that real quick. Hopefully I'm not shooting myself in the foot by doing so. You just never can tell, and we're getting to the point now where the difficulty is going to ramp up considerably from what we've typically been dealing with. I like the lanterns. I think that's a nice touch, using those for the... Well, not the, but... Well, yeah, I guess those are the primary source of lighting now in that hallway, aren't they? Oh, there it is. On the wall. See on the right side, that little fleshy mass up against the wall? New enemy type. Somewhat difficult to deal with every now and then. There we go. That made it pretty easy, though. As you saw, he shot something out of its belly, which landed over here. And that is an enemy type that will shoot projectiles at you. 
They're similar to the lurkers, which are those critters that are on all fours like a dog or something like that, in that they'll uh, spring tentacles out and, you know, grow tentacles and then shoot projectiles from those. They can be fairly com complicated to deal with. One of the enemy types that is a brilliant design, but for a player is sometimes just an absolute pain in the ass to deal with. Alright, that's going to electrocute us. Can I get the battery from here? Fuck no, I can't. Back down we go. Again, good use of environmental hazards. Come on. Alright, well, maybe it won't electrocute us. Let me get back up here. Let's see what's going on. I don't really remember. I thought I had an idea, but apparently I don't. Oh, shit. Come on, before the stasis wears off. There we are. Okay, that's just in between the columns. Or whatever you want to call them. You're close to the chemistry station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. Of course, we've been here before. And the backtracking, as you can see, it takes you back through a previously visited level, but now there are different doors open to us that we can go through and explore a whole new part of the section we've already been to. So that keeps it fresh. And again, I can't help but wonder if the backtracking was thought of and designed to tie in with the story, or if it was vice versa... But either way, I think it works fairly well and doesn't make things boring. For so long, Dr. Charles Wilson, I now have a life subject for my study. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's rest is comfortable. He trusts me, Dr. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of it. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and washed. What are you doing with that? Uh, no attempting to create the passage to insert the sample no. to the... Good science gone bad. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say about that. Oh, look at that. Xboxes floating in the air. Never seen that before either. Typically they're laying on the floor. Haven't encountered anything game breaking yet. And it is also interesting to me how I've come across bugs in these games that I've done for a particular series that I've never seen before in just a regular playthrough non-recording. So I don't know if that's some sort of jinx? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even be doing this kind of shit. <laughs> you know? Maybe I'm just opening myself up to all these bugs and whatnot. Your fight for survival is admirable, but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that you have hope. I mean, the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago. You just haven't accepted it yet. Stop. Stop your struggle. Our future, your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us. Right. New enemy type. Uh, 
okay. Um. Come on. That's what I was waiting for. Take your time, lady. I'm in no hurry. I got all day. <laughs> Shit. Where am I going? Of course, that uh, that son of a bitch, and there's really no other way to describe him. <laughs> pretty indestructible, you know. As you saw, you could shoot off limbs and legs, but they'll just grow right back like a tapeworm or something like that. Pretty clever enemy design. I'm. I actually think it's really cool, even though it is quite the pain in the ass. Um. So I've got three nodes. Before we go any further, because I don't honestly recall, let me check here at the beginning of the level and make sure there's not a bench that I'm skipping over. See if I can apply a couple of upgrades. And there's not. Okay. Moving on, then. I forget what that creature is called, though. I want to say it's called the Tormentor, but that may be... Wrong. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to word it because it may or may not be spoilers for something in the second and third dead space. I honestly just... I, I, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I can't recall. But he's pretty much on the hunt for us now. Your persistence surprises me. Holding on to your final breath. Hold on to what was once your war. And Now I can go through there. Okay. So uh, hopefully y'all recognize his voice from the logs. That's the deranged scientist. Uh, his name escapes me at the moment. I believe it's Dr. Mercer. Because we have Dr. Mercer and Dr. Kine. I think Dr. Kine is the good one. But honestly do not recall right off the top of my head. Just to make sure that some little stingray creatures don't appear and make that another necromorph. I think we're going to have our hands full enough as is. <laughs> so. Oh, shit! Why is that not? Come on, I gotta go through that door. Ah, they're spitting stuff at me. Oh my goodness. Come on, regenerator. Let's see what you got. God damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong button.
Look at that, look at that. Someone keeps shutting down the door protocol. I bypassed the lock. Go! Well, hurry up and open the goddamn door then. Shit! You're leaving me out there to dry. Jesus, that woman. And for the record, I like Kendra. I think she's a great character, but Jesus Christ, she takes her time with some shit, doesn't she? Good Lord, that woman can drive you crazy. What's that back there? That's new. And apparently I can't get it from here. Credits! There we are. Um, what am I wanting to do here? Good lord. I was moving around so fast I couldn't see what was going on. That's what I was wanting to do. Yes! One shot that motherfucker. Hey, there's somebody back there. Lady? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Do you require medical assistance? Are you hurt? Do you require psychiatric advice and or counseling? Okay, well, she's evidently not going to do a damn thing besides that, so... Moving on. I don't remember her. That's fascinating. Hey, that made it worth it. How are we looking on inventory? Not bad at all. Actually, shit, how much... Got six shots left for the line gun. Okay. Not sure if we're going to need it again or not. Venturing very much into not uncharted but unremembered territory. There's the thing we need. So there's a unitologist extremist. This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Shit! Compress the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented into space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. Oh, look at that! Got them all! Got them all! Fuck yeah! Um, I can only assume that that big bastard is still out here. Honestly, again, I don't remember. We're venturing into unremembered territory here. Oh, shit. 
We're going to make it before we run out of air. Yes, we are. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on, Isaac. Come on, goddammit. Open up door. There we go. There we go. Look at this. We got it. We got it. Woo! So I think we're at the end of the level. Shit, no we're not. Okay. Well, I was hoping for a at least under 30 minute episode. <laughs> but that's alright. What else have I got? 2,000? So I can get another node... Actually, I could get two more, but I don't want to know if I don't know if I want to go crazy with them right now or not. Oh, I could really use some line gun ammo. Gonna have to break down and buy that. And I probably should have taken the time to eliminate some of those enemies that were in the rooms that we just fled from. So I could get more items and possibly more credits, but frankly, I honestly thought it was the end of the level and didn't think I was going to need anything more. So as long as we don't run into a schematic for a new suit, I'll be okay with all of that. But if the level 4 suit awaits us down these corridors, then I'm going to be slightly upset with myself. That's right, we're going back to the room where we... Going back to the room... I've got more into the atmosphere. A survivor's report says the massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it... The Leviathan. Yeah, there we go, Leviathan. Just like, uh, that movie I was talking about in the first or second episode. So those are the spider creatures I was talking about in the last episode. That if you shoot the bloated ones, which are called the pregnant, by the way, uh, the pregnant will give birth to those after you kill it. So you've got to be very, very careful in how you dismember them if you don't want a million of those little creatures walking all over you. All right, let's see what we can do here. Line gun... I uh, got four of them, so I can get up here to that damage. So that'll be good. We'll go for that. And since we've got two extra damage points added on to the line gun, I think after this we'll start working on stasis because we're getting to the point now where stasis is going to start coming into play in terms of my strategy. But we'll see if I actually stick to that formula because I know I've contradicted myself quite a bit already in terms of what I said I was going to use and what I actually have used. See, look at that creature design, man. That is awesome. Organic, just latches right to the wall. Seems like it's growing right out of it like some kind of vine or something. Very cool design. Here we are. There we go. Should be it, huh? Hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit. This place as it may be. I think I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spoil the hive mind's offering. 
You deserve to witness that, Andres. And again, one of those sequences where you're kind of stuck, trapped, as it were, while characters speak and, you know, deliver backstory or exposition or something of that extent, whatever you want to call it. We'll call that exposition, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get the fuck out of here. After hitting up some lockers and getting some credits, oh yeah! What are we looking like now? Oh, look at that. Who's got 3K credits in their inventory? Oh, that's me! That's me! And I will never do that again. I do apologize. Oh, look at this. Xbox? Give me my Rise of the Tomb Raider, damn it. That's what you get for keeping it from me, you bastards. Fuck you, Phil Spencer. Spectre. Phil Spectre. My bad, Spencer. Shit. Can you tell I'm not all that versed in who does what in gaming? Perhaps now you would understand. The war that I've done must continue. Will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to our I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the Nephilim. Here we go. Oh shit! I'm out of stasis, motherfucker! Oh, where'd I get hit from? Oh, it doesn't matter. Shit. <laughs> There's too many of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is not going good at all. Not how I wanted it to. Oh, fuck. No, it's not. God damn it. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh, motherfucker. Shit. That's not what I want. I want to avoid using ammo. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, god damn it. Ain't no recovering from that. Hell no, there's not. Son of a bitch. But that was cool. <laughs> So I can't really knock it too much. God damn. I can't believe I let that happen to myself. But yeah, that was cool. Uh, I thought I had fucking stasis. Oh shit. Oh, there's stasis. There we go. No, that's not what I wanted at all. I want to lure him into the center of this little chamber. Just like this. And shoot that. And then run like a motherfucker. Get in here and flip the switch. There we go. That's what I was wanting to do. That's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. Now I don't even have to worry about those lurkers. Motherfucker. That was... Not at all was I, what I was expecting. I don't recall ever having that problem before at all, so I think... Yeah, recording, I'll go ahead and say it is a jinx for me. Maybe I'm... I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. <laughs>
Lonely? Visit the Solace Center. Flesh. Available May 1st. Well, what do you think that is? There's always ping. And I dig the fact that ping is never explained. It's just kind of left up to the player's imagination. Even in games after this. You know, Dead Space 2 and 3, ping is a regular thing. For me, it's a sex company. You know, it's like a, a, a cyber cam site or something like that. But I enjoy the fact that they kind of leave it. it. It's kind of ambiguous. You know, it's up to the player to kind of explain what ping is to themselves. I think that's a pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool little miniature mythology, so to speak, to add into the main mythology of the series. Uh, all right, so there we go. Episode finished. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winter. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you back here in Episode 6 of Dead Space. Everybody, please take care.